that, uh, which is the part two on uh, the senior alata, which is the cassia alata, commonly called bush candle. That's a common name, or ringworm plant. It's a common plant. It grow around Africa. It go, grow around Asia. It go around North America and Central America. This plant, you see, it has been used for ages. But if you are new on this channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you share with friends and family. Drop a comment below at the comment section. Click the notification button so that when we drop a video like this, you can always be notified. I want to keep on thanking you for your support for everything. Today we are here to talk about Senior Alata, which is Cassia Alata, commonly called Bush Candle or called Ringworm Plant. The previous videos, uh, the past uh, seven months, we talk about the leaves for other things, for infections, for some kind of diseases, for skin diseases. But today we are going to emphasize on only the, the flowers. So you can look at the amazing flowers. It grows well here in Africa. We does not cultivate it. Grow wild. So you look at the cassia a lot of flowers you see here. Anybody with a skin infection, maybe skin disease, maybe scabies in the body, maybe ringworm or eczema in the body, agony in the body. All the time you have been complaining of such a problem. You are going to harvest the flowers of the plant like this. Maybe sometimes you see children, ringworm will be growing up from their hair. When you scratch it, it will multiply, it come out whitish or brownish in color. Sometimes ringworm or fungi infection in the knees, it will affect your knees. Fungi can affect your skin. When you scratch your skin, it multiply. Ringworm, that's why we call it ringworm plant. It's very effective for fungi because it contains which is uh, anti-fungi properties and anti-microbial properties. You look at this plant here. So this evening, I'm just harvesting this one because I want to go and prepare a medication for ringworm for someone suffering from ringworm. So when you harvest the flowers, you want to take care of ringworm, fungi, scabies, agony in the skin, itches of the body, or your body will be itching you, or eczema, you are going to get a good quantity. Once you get a good quantity, you are going to come to your veranda, you mop a very clean place on your veranda with a clean rag. Because we are African, we need to come back to nature, we need to come back to our culture, we need to come back to our heritage. When you get a good quantity, mop a very clean place on your floor. Then you carry the flowers, you put it on the floor. Once you put the flowers on the floor, then you get a round ball stone. Then you grind it up. Once you grind it up, it will turn into paste. Once it turns into paste, you are going to get a clean container or you get a clean plate, or a clean, anything clean. Then you put inside the grand flowers, which is the paste of the flowers. Then you get a shea butter. Shea butter as well contains anti-fungi and antimicrobial properties and antibacteria. You get shea butter, you mix it together with good quantity of shea butter. Anybody with skin infection, anybody with ringworm, Anybody with agony in the face or agony in the body, you apply to those affected places. You call it a ringworm plant. Do it every night when the person takes the bath in the night. Every night before 14 to 21 night, pin fungi, skin infection, agony in the skin, it become a history. Fungi infection, maybe nail fungi or skin fungi, it become a history. And it's a very common plant. It grow around our farms. It grow around our houses. Grow around our compound. And some more people that have been suffering for such a problem, looking for a solution, up and down. While you are looking for going right to China, going right to India, is behind your home. That's the reason why we need to come back to culture as African. We need to come back to our own. We need to consume our own. This is our culture. This is our heritage. This is our tradition and this is our continent. We should embrace what we have in order to break through. We'll be coming out with more videos on natural plants. So keep on watching our channel, keep on sharing with friends and family. We'll be talking about beautiful, amazing plants like Karaka papaya, how to take care of spiritual problems with the Karaka papaya leaves. 
We'll be coming out with more videos on how to take care of Karaka papaya with typhoid and malaria or dengue fever. We'll be coming out with more videos. Keep on watching. Then we'll be talking about this other plant we call her Cassia occidentalis. We have her. This one here we call Cassia alata. They are one family. We have this one. You look at the plant too. We call it Cassia occidentalis. When it grow mature, it bear beans for anti-poison, for high pass infection, for skin infection. We'll be coming out with more videos. So keep on watching. Keep on sharing with friends. Always drop a comment what you think about African Mexicans on our comment section. Always drop a comment what you think about African culture. We'll be coming out with another video, what to talk about with uh, Jack Tofa. We are, some of you have been watching our video earlier on. We have been talking about Jack Tofa, how to extract the leaves, the seed for bow fuel, bow gas, and all that. But uh, the next video will be coming out, we'll talk about Jack Tofa leaf for spiritual protection, spiritual problems, or to break through any barrier, finances, and all that. Or marriage problems, you want to break through such problems. Oh, maybe you are sleeping, you are eating in a dream. We are going to talk about Jaktofa leaves. So keep on watching our video. Share with friends and family. Then we talk about uh, this other plant here. We call it uh, leaves. You look at this plant. We talk about the high pass infection. You look at the seed is growing under the leaf. The seed is growing under the leaf. It's a common plan, so we are coming out to talk about more about this plan. So keep on watching our video. Keep on sharing with friends and family. Make sure you drop a comment below at the comment section. What do you think about African Mexicans? Because we African, we are blessed with nature. We are blessed with plenty, but we hunger in the means of plenty. Why? Because we don't want to embrace our own. That is the reason why. We come out to reintroduce nature to an African man, to reach out to Africans, to reach out to everybody. You look around, we are blessed with different types of plants growing and in, in the same environment. We call it uh, mulanka, we call it white tomatoes, or we call it mulanka. We are coming out with more videos to talk about bedwetting for children. Children that will be sleeping in the night when they get up, they are more than the age of five, but they urinate in their bed. We'll talk about the leaves for such a problem. Then we'll talk about the roots for diabetes, for high blood pressure. So keep on watching. Then we'll look at bitter leaf. We have talked about bitter leaf for other mouth odor and all that. So we'll be coming out with more video to talk about bitter leaf for high pass infection, for urinary tract infection, and other diseases. So keep on watching. Thank you. Drop a comment below at the comment section. Share with friends. Click the notification button so that when we drop a new video like this, you can always be notified. Make sure you share with friends. And then look at the one we call it Limsa, or we call it Lim Tree. Talking about Lim Tree for spiritual problems, and uh, we have talked about Lim Tree. We check our videos the past uh, nine months ago. We talked about Lim. We have, but we haven't talked about the roots of Lim. So we'll be coming out with more video how to talk about the roots of Lim. So keep on watching my people, keep on sharing, drop a comment below, thank you for your support, thank you for your sharing, thank you for everything, drop a comment below what you think about African medicines. When I look at nature, when I look around, I'm happy because nature is the best. That's why we say we want to reintroduce nature to an African man because most Africans, they switch over to European and American cultures. As, and most of the things we eat in our houses, it didn't match our genetic constitution as Africans. That's the reason why we bring out this program to reach out to everybody, to reach out to Africans, so that they can embrace their own, they can uh, invest in their medicines, they can produce their own medicines, they can uh, consume their own medicines and be healthy. Our priority is for you to be healthy. This is a uh, reform, which is a uh, research and promoters of African medicinal plan. So thank you guys, thank you very much. Thank you. So keep on watching. We'll be coming with more video on this same formula. <laughs>